Okay, we're about two hours into the project and we have finally got our wood layout done. You can see my center reinforcements here. I think they're really gonna help with the structural integrity of the project. Morgana, Morgana, what are you getting excited about? Do you not like it when I talk to myself? Does that weird you out? All right, at this point, we are about ready to start screwing and gluing. So I need to do some math, make some marks so that we can keep track of what goes where and how many screws we're gonna put into what. Okay, I've gotten everything labeled so I know which boards go where. I also flipped them over and decided which side was more attractive as they are going to be exposed boards. They're not gonna be painted or anything. I want the better looking side without printed text or goopy paint. Some of them have little, just little fluffy marks from, uh, from manufacturing on them that I don't want to show. So we've got that all sorted out. Now it is time to start maneuvering this thing to start gluing and screwing it. Okay, we need to switch from square drive to Phillips because we changed the screws that we're using. I need to get my screws laid out and my glue put onto the board. Then we are going to set the cardboard on top of the glue and the board and proceed to screw through the cardboard into the wood. Okay, so math, let's do this together. We have a rough total of seven six foot long segments. We have 50 washers and 100 screws. So assuming that we only want to use 50 screws because we only have 50 washers, we need to divide seven into 50. Seven goes into 50 seven times with a total of 49, which means each seven six foot segment of wood, four vertical and two horizontal, is going to get seven screws and seven washers. Math! If you're doing this at home, I would advise going with three quarter inch screws, not half inch screws like I did. Uh, between the thickness of the cardboard and the thickness of the wood, you can definitely get away with three quarter inch and it's going to have a little bit more anchorage to it, but that's no big deal. We can work with what we've got. Man, I just realized I messed up. I used the wrong piece in the wrong spot. I used the center piece on the outside, but it doesn't matter really. We can just swap them. The point is simply to reinforce the crack and a one inch strip of wood is going to reinforce a millimeter thick crack just as well as a two inch board. So we are just going to adjust on the other side accordingly. Wow, this is turning out to be quite the challenge on one's own. It's very difficult to place the wood on the opposite side when you can't see it and then proceed to screw it on. But we are overcoming this challenge and we shall continue to overcome this challenge. So stay with me, fam.
All right, the next part is going to be the center joint. This is going to be the most difficult part of all, so wish me luck. That was a bitch. Managed to tear my finger open a little bit on the wood, but a little blood on your project just means you put your soul into it, right? If you can see that little black spot right there, I managed to poke a hole with my drill bit straight through the cardboard, which is unfortunate, but we have to remember that this is all just a backboard for sound foam. Any little problems like that aren't going to show anyways in the final shot, so let's not worry about it and move on. We only have one more side to do right over here before we are finished with the first half. Oh my god, we're making progress. Okay guys, we are almost there. I'm gonna take a quick break, open up some space on my phone because I'm almost out of recording time, get a little snack, get a little water, cool down, and then we're gonna come back and finish this up. So stay with me. Alrighty fam, we freed up a few gigabytes on my phone's hard drive. We should be good to go to finish up this project. While you were uploading onto my computer, I went ahead and finished the last corner right here and used the last of my washers and screws, just distributed evenly around the project to reinforce it a little bit more. I kept it all symmetrical because I'm OCD like that. So, now that we have all of our screws and all of our glue all set up and beautiful, it is time to start assembling the foam. And to do that, we need about 96 pieces of two-sided adhesive Velcro tape. So, we need a pair of scissors, another tool, and we're gonna cut out a whole bunch of squares.